how to deploy an NFT drop using a smart contract, no coding needed, third web. Hi there, you guys. In this video, I'm going to talk you through this article on third web, which explains how you can basically deploy an NFT drop using a smart contract. Well, uh, guys, if you do this on your own, just a disclaimer, remember that every move that you make when you try to um, edit your project here on uh, third web, uh, basically you'll have to pay for transaction fees. They're not actually fees charged by third web, but they are fees that you need to pay for you to own the contract along the way. Yes, exactly. So anyway, um, this version of third web is still a beta version. So yeah, I'm not sure if how long it's going to be for free, but you know, sign up while you can, it's still for free you guys, but who knows, maybe like in the future, you might need to pay for this. So as, as long as it's still for free, let us well go ahead and try it out. But yeah, the fees that we're going to pay for this is okay. Um, going to be, uh, uh, for for the contracts that you're gonna own all right so first up is um yeah not the intro not so much in the intro um you know okay but a short intro you can do this to every type of nft you guys you can do it with any type of nft which is uh, audio video or stuff like that um but in this example they used um a pokemon or or pokemon concept nft project and this is what they did to set up the project first is that um you need to create a project on third web um you can do this by um their dashboard just click go to dashboard right here and once you've done that you will have to um name your project you know um you're going to uh, yeah, but before that, uh, by the way, you ha you'll have to choose to um where you're going to deploy your project. So they have here a couple of options. So once you click on create project, you can um, create via testnet or via the mainnet. Now, what I love about you know third web is that it can actually um deploy on Polygon or ethereum avalanche or phantom so now you can also deploy here in testnet because you know minimal fees are you know for this one but the fees uh i mean minimal but you're of course going still going to like pay for uh the fees of you know for the contracts that you're gonna own and yeah so uh for this um, um article the creators used mumbai uh, polygon Mum this one to actually create the project and as you can see here it says you are connected to the rink bio network but you are exploring the dashboard on mumbai network they need to match if you want yeah okay i'm gonna switch uh i actually uh, okay so let's switch network right here and see you don't have any funds on this network you'll need some matic to get started you can get some from the faucet below okay you guys so yeah uh think about your project first before you actually play around with third web because you'll have to pay for um, set of fees okay so now um so since we're done setting up the project it'll actually uh this is you setting up think about this as like the um the first layer or top level container for your project so now since we're done setting it up setting the project up we're gonna set up yeah you're gonna set up the drop so um you can do this by creating a drop mo module so right here you can click um um once you've done once you clicked on create right over here you can now click on add module and then select drop and once you've done that you'll be able to see this particular pop-up window right here and you will need to set up a lot of the de uh, some details like the name uh, the name the description right here which um we actually inputted here so now we're going to add in more information going down like configure and uh, what else symbol you know you should like uh, create your own symbol as well just like how um matic has a symbol polygon has its symbol and of course of course the primary sale 
recipient address. Okay. And by the way, uh, the drop here on Third Web uses ERC-721, which means every NFT will be unique. So make sure that the collection that you are up uploading are unique. And it means it basically means no two are alike. Okay. Now, uh, the drop that uh, they deployed is a Pokemon themed one. So they're, they uploaded all the Pokemon from Gen 1 as NFTs. Now, um, the inputs actually that we um, put here, they'll actually look like this. When we're done publishing this project, look at this one. Um, this is the image. This is the name which we inputted. Uh, yeah, which you can input um, through Third Web. And the description is this one. So this is how it's going to be implemented, you guys. All right, so let's find out what these things are. Basically, the image is, you know, uh, represents your collection as a whole. Um, the name sets the yeah name of your collection. The description is basically how you came up with that collection. Symbol, you know, ether scan symbol. This one, B A Y C, Board Ape Yacht Club. You have to have a unique symbol, by the way, you guys. And primary sale recipient address. What is this, by the way? This one that is set here. Um, the address that will receive both the money from the primary sales and the royalties. So this will have your wallet address. Now, the royalty is, of course, the percent of the money that you'll get from any secondary sales. So once your NFT has been sold over and over again, you're going to get like a royalty fee from it. Next is you're going to configure the drop. So to do this, you'll have to click on configure. Um, and then you'll have to set up the currency, the price per token, maximum mint supply, wait time, and claim limit per transaction. The currency is basically how you want people to transact with your NFT. You can even input your own. The price per token is, you know, how much um, it costs per token you can uh, uh set it up yourself um it can be zero it's for free and the maximum mint supply is you know how many nfts are available for minting and the wait time is basically how how long are you going to wait after you've um completed a transaction and this one the claim limit per transaction is how many nfts can you mint per transaction? And then after that, wait time. And then, you know, another transaction. You can set it up yourself. It's totally up to you. So now the drop settings. Yeah, I've already explained it. Okay, now set permissions. And this next screen will allow you to actually set up permissions. And what it does is you can give admin capabilities to other wallets, you guys. And if you want, that is if you want to do so. But, you know, they left it as it is. I'm not sure why, but it, it may be for a reason. Um, next is, of course, the fun part, the bulk upload. So what, we're, what you're going to do next is now to bulk upload your NFTs. And the first step to that is click on bulk create instead of the create button. Now, it uh, it's going to ask you to upload a folder. So what should your folder have? Now, your folder should have a CSV file with metadata and uh, your assets sh should be named 0123. Now, the, the example is right over here. All right. Ooh. Where is it? Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, now you can see here, um, 0, 1, 2, 3, and the like, dot .png. It should be in dot .png, you guys. And what else? It should also contain a CSV file. This will basically uh, be like the command the, that will prompt, uh, yeah, a command prompt that will actually be helpful when you're going to publish your, yeah, for coding and stuff like that, minor coding. So uh, this is the CSV file. The CSV file should look like this. All right. So now after uploading the folder, it's going to give you a preview and it's going to look like this. All right. So you can reset or you can click bulk create 152 drops if you're sure about, you know, what you're dropping. All right. So now um total supply 152 152 click on bulk create now oh by the way uh there is an important note here that every single image that you just added was 
also automatically uploaded and pinned to IFP, IPFS, which means your images now are live in the blockchain forever, forever, forever. Okay, so the metadata for the NFT also gets uploaded to the IF, IPFS. All right, you guys. Next is embedding the drop. So now um, you're at the overview, right? This is the overview right here. Now you want to go to this part, the embed tab. And once you've done that, you can see here uh, what it does is that you can easy, easily copy and paste a, an embed or paste embed that you can you can only add on any website that accepts HTML. You know, people will be able to connect their wallet and mint their own NFTs. And then once you've done that, um, you'll have to uh yeah you you'll see this preview again by the way and yeah copy to clipboard make sure to copy this and then add the embed to your website right here embed and then click on embed and paste on the code and it's gonna look like this and after that you're basically done you guys so let me know what you think down in the comments below about creating a project here on third web i think it's cool it's still free you guys definitely go try it out for yourself but yeah that's it for this video see you again on the next one peace out